Welcome back. All our top stories can be found on our website, and that's channelstv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channels web. Do visit m.channelstv.com to see us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. We'd also like to encourage you to use the eyewitness feature in the Channels TV app if you have pictures or videos you'd like to share with us. Tap the application on your device, swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu, and follow the instructions. Now let's bring you up to speed with the developments in Cross River State and residents of a number of local councils in Cross River State are appealing to the federal government to speed up its intervention plans of rehabilitating communities following a number of disasters. The displaced people made the call after a team from the Federal and State Emergency Management Agency visited their communities to ascertain the extent of damage. The journey to the hinterland communities of Bokim Lakul government area of Cross River State takes several hours. A team from the National Emergency Management Agency is in the state to assess the level of destruction in the area. Roofs blown away by the violent winds, structures brought down by flood waters, and many left homeless with no option of dealing with the problem. About 80% of the houses in the community were somewhere leveled down, as you can see this one here. It was the, the, this thing just collapsed. The, the building just collapsed, and uh, some people have uh, you know, tried their best to put them in order, but those who cannot afford money to put their own in order, they are still stranded. Those who till the land for a livelihood also have tales to tell. According to the farmers, over 300 of their cocoa and other economic trees on their farms have been destroyed by pests. We have more than 300 farms that are destroyed by this insect, and which we list them in the right up we put. This insect came in into the cocoa uh, during April, uh, May. And uh, the economic crops that the insect destroy is uh, we have uh, cocoa, we have uh, uh, bush mango, we have kola nut, we have uh, mahogany and pears. The people of Yako, Abi and Obubura councils are not only battling with natural disaster, houses have been destroyed and communities deserted as a result of communal clashes. The residents are seeking solutions. We want, we want peace. We want government to come and make peace between Adadama and the uh, Ebonians. And we Adadama people are not after Ebonians land. We see no reason that all the time they will cross the border and enter into Adadama land to come and make a farm. They should ask them to leave our farmland alone. Both the state and the federal emergency management teams are concerned. It is a pitiable situation that those children there, as IDPs today in uh, Eima, desire all of this attention. We expect that government should not hesitate or take much time, because the longer the period, the more devastating the effects of their sufferings will be. Any disaster that affects, affects, a, uh, affects a community and less than 100 persons are affected, the state should have the capacity to intervene. The local government should intervene uh, when the disaster is about, uh, it affects about 50 persons. But in this case, we have seen that in most cases, there are no interventions and we are left with no other options than to intervene. The fate of these communities, whose inhabitants are now scattered around, lie in the prompt intervention of government. But it remains to be seen how long they'll have to wait. In the South-South, but shifting focus to politics, governance, and the coming elections ahead of the September 10th governorship elections in Edo State, the ruling All Progressives Congress says it's ruled out the thought of losing to the seat which it has held, losing its seat which it held for three years now under Governor Adams Oshomale. The national chairman of the party, Chief John Ayegu, in an interview with Channels Television, 
says the party has everything good going for it in the state from the current administration's performance to the choice of its flag bearer. He also said that seat to which I alluded is actually for eight years and not ten. Politician and I have roots right to the very deepest bottom of politics in this state. No such thing is going to happen. I just um, inaugurated the campaign council, and the charge is not whether we win or not. The charge is a very convincing and resounding win, to make a point. He is the, well, I don't know which of the PDP candidates, I think there are two. There's no question about that. But this is an APC state. It is an APC state where performance is so outstanding, performance is so visible that when we campaign, we mount on the studio, on the rostrum and say, look at that, look at that, look at that. Let the party he now belongs to tell us what they achieved in the 10 years, solid years, before the Oshomali administration came into office. So we are going to be campaigning from a position of see what we have done. We want to continue this good work that we have done for Edo State. Simple. And the people are not, uh, they are much wiser than a lot of us credit them to. I will bet my bottom line on that. Why theorize? We are not going to lose. It doesn't arise. We will win. Very. The issue of losing doesn't, it does not even arise. I mean, look at, look at the picture, the totality of the picture. We have performed. We are in office here. We are in office nationwide. I've no doubt at all the people are on our side. So why should I go theorizing about if? From politics to environmental issues and over in the north central part of the country, the Benue State Government is taking steps to ensure the reticulation of water to critical public institutions and agencies to curb the likely environmental and water sanitation threats in Benue State. Now, the Benue State Water and Environmental Sanitation Team disclosed this after a two-day environmental impact assessment visit to some flooded parts of the state and the Benue State University, which happens to be experiencing water scarcity. Now, the team led by the commissioner, Mr. Nick Wende, was also at the Benue State University Teaching Hospital, where it promised to connect the teaching hospital to improve the operational capacity. Almost everywhere in Benue State, you find one water body or the other, especially from the River Benue, overlooking the 5.2 billion naira Greater Makodi waterworks, but with little impact on the community. Some Makodi residents drive for up to four kilometers to the treatment plant to access portable water from these external pipes because the reticulation component of the facility has failed to work. Critical institutions like the Benue State University community with over 50,000 population and the teaching hospital established for research and clinical services for our medical students has water supply challenges too. After the team inspected the mini water treatment plant at the university campus, the vice chancellor makes some demands from government. We have our private uh, water treatment plant, which is just about three to four hundred meters away from where we're sitting. We need chemicals, we need pumps, uh, we need other you know, accessories that we can make us have portable water. But these are not coming because they are also a function of money. So it would be very nice if you come and maybe upgrade this water uh, treatment plant for us. We would appreciate so much. Because the water problem of this university bothers the person, our person as a governor. He's primarily concerned about the water situation in BSU. And then the ministry has the ministry to come and familiarize itself with the challenges of water in the Benue State University community. At the Tetan Hospital, the team was received by the chief medical director who requested for increased storage facilities and daily reticulation of water for the running of the hospital. We depended on the boreholes for a long time that we had to pump water to the overhead tank. The patient load increased, our staff strength increased, 
the relatives who come with patients increased, it became so, so difficult to get water. Uh, so we don't get the water as regularly as uh, we should. On the environmental impact assessment of flooding across parts of the state, the commissioner wants residents to improve their hygiene and warns residents against the dangers of water and airborne diseases. From the river Benue, that is not safe for domestic use, for the problem of flooding in Makudi, residents seem to be caught up in a crisis, one that only the timely intervention of government can resolve. You're watching news across Nigeria. Everyone is talking about the importance of agriculture to Nigeria's economy nowadays, and the United States has hopped on the bandwagon. Stay with us.